The agenda for prime time has been completely set by Dr. S. Jay Shankar, the external affairs minister who unsurprisingly speaks to India first. India today first. The first interview after G20 by the external affairs minister only to India today. He's provided never before details on how the Indian foreign policy machinery under Prime Minister Modi built an unprecedented consensus on the Ukraine war. He talks about how the declaration happened because India's global stature has gone up hugely. He also mentions how the Prime Minister brought up issues with his counterparts on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And this is what fueled the success of the G20 summit in Delhi. The Prime Minister had an impact, says Dr. Jay Shankar, on his counterparts. So an amazing breakdown of that success that viewers watched over the weekend right here on India Today. Dr. S. Jay Shankar providing the first behind the scenes details and a real sort of anatomy of the success that India has made possible at the G20. Take a look at this breaking excerpt. Uh, what was happening in, a, in, the, in the real world, if you would, was also that at various levels, you know, uh, the Sherpa and the Sherpa's team were talking, I was talking to my counterparts uh, at certain points of play where required, uh, you know, Prime Minister himself uh, came in. So uh, we also knew that, uh, you know, uh, in many ways uh, a lot of countries were invested in the G20. They were invested in the presidency of the G20, in the current presidency of the G20. And that gave me a lot of confidence that, look, at the end of the day, uh, there would be a desire on everybody's part. Uh, there, were, there were still issues which uh, needed uh, to, be, uh, to be resolved. And in some cases, I you know, had to ask him, saying, you know, it would be good if uh, you could speak to your counterpart. And, uh, and he did that? Yes, he did that. I, look, I, I mean, uh, it, it's a, you, I can put it both ways. I think the declaration also happened because his stature had gone up. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, the, you know, when uh, he, he sort of brought up the issue with uh, some of his counterparts, the fact that, you know, this was Prime Minister Modi himself bringing up the issue, I think definitely had an impact uh, on uh, uh, the other, on his counterparts. The big breaking blockbuster interview by Dr. S. J. Shankar already setting the news agenda. Joining me live is our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, for more on this. Geeta, first details of how this big success actually came together. The external affairs minister getting into the specifics and the anatomy behind what India made possible at the G20. Well, absolutely. It is a huge win and uh, none other than External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar Shiv explaining how, uh, one, it was a very tall ask because uh, the Indian side has had great ties or has great ties with Russia, mm. China, as also with the, with the West. So the stickler, Russia-Ukraine war, was a very difficult issue to negotiate. They negotiated each word, each uh, step of the way, and and, and, and managed to get a document that uh, all of them could really sign on. Uh, also, Shiv, the team that worked uh, behind the scenes, the kind of deliberations that took place, uh, as Dr. Jayashankar was explaining, at bilateral levels as well, how they connected with each country to ensure that, uh, that if they have a problem with the text, that that... Mm can be changed or managed to the, to an acceptable language and they had to work uh, with each and every country each and every member state to ensure that at the end of the day uh, there is a joint document yeah. but also the, he speaks of india's power india's standing where uh, the countries wanted a win for india as well the fact that they wanted a joint communique and for india it was essential to have that joint communique at the end of the day jo the joint communique coming goes to show India's standing right now in the global order shift. And it's also true, uh, like Dr. Jayashankar said, Geeta, that the Prime Minister had an impact on the other leaders. You know, many people had seen this as a very difficult thing to achieve, 
uh, but, but not only was this amazing foreign policy machinery doing that work behind the scenes, but you know, out there and from on top, the Prime Minister was doing his bit, using his own interpersonal connections with these world leaders. Well, absolutely. It is a leadership intervention at the end of the day, Shiv, that really clinched the deal for India. Uh, remember the statement that he began with uh, uh, during the first session, the One Earth session uh, at the G20. Yeah. He called for the leaders to really ensure that there is uh, no space for, uh, for, for the kind of uh, uh, acrimony that uh, was being witnessed uh, between and among my member states. And uh, to, that, uh, to that end, the personal relationship and the personal gestures, the personal moments that he had, ensuring that he speaks to all and one, or one and all, uh, to really get the joint uh, communique in. So it was uh, certainly a personal, uh, personalized uh, uh, moment for Prime Minister Narendra Modi, where he wanted to make sure that if it is not being ha if it is not being able to uh, be, be converted or translated into a joint communique at the uh, official level or officers level, that mm. he will make that effort, he will take that step, and he will step in uh, to uh, to bring that joint communique in. Uh, so, pr external affairs minister over here saying that the that the leadership intervention that was that was witnessed. Uh, is certainly one reason why there was certain amount of consensus, uh, not just uh, in the early on stages where we saw uh, Shiv 19 ministerials in India, uh, yes. no joint communique. It looked really difficult, but leadership intervention was required, which is what we had been speaking uh, and saying all along. And at the end. Uh, you did not even have to wait for the concluding session mm. uh, in, a, in an unprecedented manner. The joint communique was actually announced in the first session or the beginning of the second session. The beginning of the second yeah. session, a day before the uh, conclusion of the summit, uh, the, the, the uh, joint communique was adopted and announced. Right.